with his spin, he's quick through the air. I think batters find it hard to sometimes come down the wicket end because he's so quick through the air, he's fast arm. He can also bat at the back end of an innings. Rashid gets it, yes he does. Wrong and wrong and wrong and. Yeah, Rashid Khan, my favourite player in the world, so he's in there. Um, hopefully he's back at the strikers this year. But... Every time he comes out of the big bash, he performs. Um, international cricket, he performs. They're becoming a force now, Afghanistan. Good personality to have around the team, I think, as well. Like, if we're thinking off, off the field too, I think he, he'd be a good personality to have. Um, but yeah, just purely. And I mean, like, he's dangerous with the bat too, right? He's that, that X factor in the team, um, especially with the ball. He, I think, is the best wrist spinner in, in white ball cricket. Um, to be able to actually stand behind the stumps to him and see what he does is, um, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful I'm normally behind the stumps and not batting in front of him. got told by a few people to just pretend it like, just assume it's his wrong end, and then hopefully the ball spins away the other way. So if you're not sure, back in the wrong end and then, um, and then if it's not, you're least not out. He tried not to face him in the nets. I faced him in games a couple of times. He made me look stupid in domestic cricket. Starkey with the new ball. I mean, we've seen what he's done in the World Cups in the past. New white ball, swinging it. Can be very hard to line up as an opening batsman. Just the wickets per game is, is obviously best ever, I think. Um, it's just ridiculous the amount of wickets he seems to pick up. Seeing how he bowled in India in our last series um, and just how he ripped the core out of the Indian team with that fast swing bowling is honestly phenomenal. His ability to, to take wickets with the new ball, swing it back down the line, um, and then his death stuff with um, the ball going the other way, um, it's difficult to get a hold of. If a guy's swinging it away like Starkey would to me, it makes it harder for me to line up a cover drive or a straight drive and a swing it when it's going straight. It's a lot easier for me to line that up. He's obviously a left arm sort of strike bowler, I'm right arm and I get my wickets through maybe building pressure. So we're so different, I think that's how we work well together. Um, tough for a batter to face, you know, different thing from each end and get used to it. So we sort of feed off each other in that regard. He sort of feels like the player that's not going to really skip a beat when he comes back from injury. Just different sort of action. If you haven't faced him before, it's almost impossible. That's it. It's just different. Um, takes a little bit to get used to. Um, you know, his ability to, to take wickets with the new ball and throughout the middle um, is important. Um, and then his death stuff. You know, he jams that Yorker. He's got a great slower ball and uh, tough to get a hold of. You know, the way that it can come out, his slower ball, it, it, he, um, he gets dip on it. And it also feels like he can bowl from 130 to 150 with you know, not much change in effort, so yeah, tough bowler. The ball just sort of hits you so much quicker than you, you expect, just because he's got not much of a run up, you know, and not much cue. So it's amazing that he can generate so much pace from you know nothing. It seems all fast bowlers they all, like release the ball from up here, they stride. They don't really get hit because of his action, the way his short delivery stride is how far ahead he gets over it. He delivers the ball, I reckon, this far further than everyone else. That's what makes it feel like it comes so much quicker at you. Oh, that's the one that he has a problem against. He should review it. Should review it.